Welcome to Children's Ministry Online. My name is Miss Olivia and I am so glad that you press play. Today, we're going to finish learning about all that happened between Jesus' resurrection and ascension. On Easter, Jesus overcame death, rising from the dead. We can celebrate that Jesus is alive. First, we learned about the resurrection and when Jesus appeared to Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James. Jesus also appeared to his disciples. We learned that Jesus connects us to each other. And last week, we learned about the story of the miraculous catch of fish when Jesus helped his friends rise up when they were feeling down. We learned that Jesus gives us encouragement too. And this week, we're going to learn about Jesus' ascension up to heaven. The disciples were sad that they had to say goodbye to their friend Jesus again. But Jesus was not going to leave them empty-handed. Let's read our Bible passage today to find out what Jesus gave his disciples and what he gives us too. So if you have a Bible, open it up to Matthew 28. We're going to read verse 19 and 20. And you can read along with me too as it'll be here on the screen. It says, Go therefore and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit, teaching them to observe all that I have commanded you. And behold, I am with you always to the end of the age. Have you heard this passage before? It's pretty popular, pretty common, and it's actually called the Great Commission. Now, that might sound a little intimidating, a little scary, but it's actually pretty simple. So Jesus gave the disciples this command to go and make disciples. A disciple is just simply someone that follows Jesus. So if you believe in Jesus, you are a disciple. And Jesus commands us to go and make more disciples or more followers of Jesus. So you might be thinking, Miss Olivia, that sounds exciting, but how do I do that? Well, that's a good question. You can make disciples by telling other people about Jesus and teaching them about what he did that he's our savior, that he died for our sins and rose again so that we can live with him forever. That's good news. And it's the good news that we get to share with everyone. But Jesus didn't just tell us to go and do this. He gives us a promise. He promises that as we go and make disciples, he will be with us to the end of the age. Jesus promises to give us his strength. And you might be thinking, how do I get Jesus' strength? Do I need to do some more push-ups? Do I need to lift some weights, work on those muscles? While those things might make your arm stronger, Jesus is talking about a different type of strength. Have you ever tried to do something that was really hard or scary? Maybe it's hard for you to ride a bike. Or maybe you're afraid of sitting in the dark. I remember when I was your age, I was afraid to go and sleep over at my friend's house. I wanted to be near my parents, but I learned that I didn't need to fear because Jesus was there with me through the power of the Holy Spirit, the gift that he has given me, that he has given you in his baptism, in your baptism. Now, this Bible verse reminds us that Jesus is with us during those hard, scary, and challenging times. He has given us his Holy Spirit to be with us wherever we go, whenever we face scary things, and even when we go and tell others about him, he promises to be there with us and giving us strength to do so. And that reminds me of today's big idea. Can I get a drum roll, please? Today's big idea is we are stronger with Jesus. And because we're stronger with Jesus, we can tell others about him. Let's see now what our friends Carl and Vanessa have to say about our Bible story. Hi there, little chicken nuggets. It's me, Carl. And I'm Vanessa. Welcome to Grow TV. Welcome to Grow TV. 
hosted by Carl, where we have fun with our friends, talk about Jesus, and go over everything the Bible has to offer. Now, once again, welcome to TV. Thanks for tuning in, kids. Glad you could join us today. We just got back from an amazing hiking trip. So we're a little beat up, but I'm so excited to jump into today's Bible story. Me too, but first, a nice refreshing sip of water. Okay, that's on there kind of tight. Do you need help? I got it, Vanessa. I got it, Vanessa. Okay. That! No! Ah! Smaha! Smooth! Oh! Ow! That hurts my mouth. Yeah! <laughs> Oh, man. Ah. Open the safe on me. <laughs> All right, can I help you now? Go for it. Good luck. Here you go. How in the world did you do that? I'm stronger than you are. Well, everyone knows that. But that lid wouldn't budge at all. You have superpowers? Of course not, silly. Well, you did a lot of the work to get it off but I was able to give it a little extra shove so it would come off. Well, thank you, I guess. I don't think I could have done that without you. No problem. You want to jump into the Bible story? It's about Jesus' final words before leaving Earth. <laughs> Whoa, Jesus' last words? That's got to be kind of super duper important. You better believe it. He was leaving Earth and giving his disciples some pretty important instructions. All right, well, let's quit beating around the bush. Well, it's in Matthew chapter 28. It says, and Jesus came to them and said, all authority in heaven and on earth has, give, has been given to me. Therefore, go and make disciples of all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit, and teaching them to obey everything I have commanded you. And surely I am with you always, to the very end of age. Whoa, that's a lot to take in. Let's break it down. So we started off by telling the disciples to go make what? Disciples. He wanted disciples to make more disciples? Yep. Okay, then he wanted them to get... Baptized. Okay, and then teach them? You got it. So Jesus was telling them to go out and do what he had taught them. And the cool part is, is that mission wasn't just for the disciples. It was for everybody who loves Jesus. Oh no. What, what's wrong? Well, I'm in big trouble, Vanessa. Tell me what you're talking about. Well, making disciples, baptizing them, and then teaching them everything Jesus commands us to do? That's a lot, Vanessa. Yeah, but I know you can do it. No, I can't. I'm not that strong. Sure you are. I couldn't even open a water bottle. That's fair. See, I told you, I can't do anything without help. Is that so bad? Of course it is. Jesus told me to make disciples, baptize them, then teach them. He told me to do that. There's no way I can do that on my own. That's the point. What do you mean by that? Do you remember the last verse of the story? Sure, it was about Jesus telling us that he would be with us to the very end of age. Exactly. You see, Jesus promised his disciples and us that he would send a helper to us. Do you know who that helper was? Tom Brady? No way. It was the Holy Spirit. As followers of Jesus, we have the Holy Spirit with us wherever we go. More than that, the Holy Spirit helps us accomplish everything that God has plans for us. Everything? Everything. Wow, that's great news. You bet it is. So just like it took both of us to open the bottle, you'll need help throughout your life to do all the things God wants us to do. I guess you're right. It's an awesome reminder to know that we are stronger with Jesus. I think you just said our big idea. What? Today's big idea is we are stronger with Jesus. So let's say it out loud on the count of three. One, two, three. three. We're stronger with Jesus. Woo, woo, woo. <laughs> yeah, we are. I'm really not that strong. It's kind of weird because I do have somewhat muscle definition, but it doesn't, I can't do anything with it. I literally am really weak. It's an anomaly. You know those reef fish? Same thing. And then an enemy. An anomaly. <laughs> those. What an awesome story. Right? I really like that one. Me too. You know what? I had a lot of fun exploring the great outdoors with you. Whoa! It's a pretty cool water bottle. Can I see it? Sure, it's pretty heavy. Vanessa, don't you know that I am stronger with Jesus? <laughs> oh. That was really heavy. Have a good week, kids. <laughs> How was that so heavy? That literally <laughs> took me off the, the chair. What is this, like a thousand pounds? <laughs> it's on my chest and I can't get it off. I feel like it's 
crushing my chest cavity. Oh my Vanessa, God. if you could just maybe call someone. Yep, I'll get right on that. Andy! Andy! Not Andy. Not Andy. Anybody but Andy. <laughs> Thank you for watching and tune in next week for a new episode of Road TV. Thank you for watching that with me. This is true that we are stronger with Jesus. Now I want you to take a few moments with your family and talk about these questions. Who is the strongest person you know? Who in your life gives you strength? Who did Jesus say he was going to send to help the disciples? How can you ask Jesus to help you be strong this week? And what are some strengths or gifts that God has given to you? Awesome. Well, will you join me now in practicing our memory verse? And I want to see if you can do it first on your own. If you think you can, pause the video and do it now. From Romans chapter 10, verse 9, this is our memory verse. If you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. Very good. All right. That is what we have today. Thank you for joining us. Uh, but before we go, please join me in a word of prayer. Dear Jesus, give us strength to do what you have asked us to do in our lives, especially when things are difficult. Remind us that you are always with us and we are stronger that we know because of that. We love you. Amen. I pray that you all have a great week and remember that Jesus is your strength for Christ has risen. He has risen indeed. Alleluia.